Hi everybody, thank you for checking out my review for this Techstone rear view mirror. This is an Android mirror, it's got Android built in, it also has two cameras, a uh, reverse camera which is this one right here, and then the forward facing camera which is built into the mirror. This thing is awesome, I've been playing around with it for a while. Um, so I want to guide you through the entire setup, how to link it with your phone, how to share your internet connection, all of that, um, because it can be a little confusing if you're not very tech savvy. So I'll walk you through all of that and then I'll show you the install as well on the car. Um, you basically just run this, the rear view camera wire through your headliner and out the back. Um, so, and then to attach to the rear view mirror itself, you use these little rubber pieces that come in, basically rubber bands, so you can clip them on that. Depending on the size of your mirror, you'll either use the far ones here or those ones there. All right, so um, you can see it's already booted up. I'm using a power source here. This is a 12 volt power source. It comes with the cigarette lighter. I'm actually gonna hardwire this thing in um, with a, a little adapter I bought for like three bucks. I bought it from AliExpress, but you can buy it uh, on Amazon. I think it's like 10 bucks. Uh, the search, uh, I'll put it in the, in the description because I don't remember what I searched for. I think it was uh, backup camera hardwire, something like that. I'll put it in there for you. So anyway, I want to walk you through the settings real fast. So this is the camera itself, I'm, or the, the rear view camera. I'm going to uh, kind of push it out of the way so it's not so, so cluttered, but I do want to plug it in so that you can see it. Um, it, and I want to make note here, this, this red cable that comes on it, so that basically what this is is a power cable. Um, you're going to tap that into your rear view, um, the, the rear backup lights, so that when you, those backup lights come on, it sends a signal to this to turn this on. So there's a couple ways to turn it on. You can turn it on through the menu, or you can turn it on that way. So basically what it does, this is a positive, a positive wire, and all it's going to um, simulate the backup light coming on. So when that backup light comes on, it gives power. You can see the light turns on, and then it automatically changes the view to the rear view, which is awesome. Um, then when you turn it off, it goes back. So um, that is really cool. It did come with a scotch lock, I think, um, but I was goofing around, and I didn't even see it, so I think I actually lost that. Uh, so I'm going to have to use something different to tap into the wire. I normally solder and heat shrink anyway, so I'll probably do that. But you guys can use the Scotch lock that comes within, with it. So all right, let's go ahead and get this thing started. So the power button's down here on the bottom. There it goes. you got to actually push the button. This is going to be kind of hard to show without showing the uh, mirror because it's very reflective. Um, so. The setup right here, this is your driving video. When you click that, it's gonna turn on both the front and the rear camera. Um, you can do front camera, you can do dual cam, which is awesome, or you can do back cam. So I personally like the dual cam, and I want the, if you click on this, this is the rear view camera, and it will switch. So this is the front view, I don't need to see that on the screen obviously, because uh, I'm facing that way, and then this is the rear view, um, or you can do it the other way. All right, so oh, I guess I was backwards. Now it's the rear view. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and go back now. So um, let's go ahead. We're, this is the app drawer. You can see, you can click right here. I actually already downloaded Kodi from the Play Store. Um, in order to get connected to the internet, I would recommend doing this first, uh, is connecting to the internet. That way you can make sure everything's updated. Um, you saw the settings button over there. You're gonna scroll down to this wireless LAN. So that's, and then you're gonna just connect into your Wi-Fi just like you do anything else. Also in the settings, this has your um, auto sleep. And it's a mirror, so it's just not easy, not easy to show. Uh, auto video lock, if there's an, if there's an actual uh, accident, it will save it. Um, and you can do your collision sensitivity, all of that system update. So basically what I want you want to do first is go to the, once you're connected to the internet system update and online upgrade, just check for it. So it says we're okay. Um, this is the driver assistant app. So I'm going to show you that here in a second. This is your storage. Um, this is your driver assist. So I'm going to exit out of that because I'm going to show you how to do that. So it'll come up and tell you, it'll say, Please install a driver assist and then scan. So what you're going to do with that is you're going to open a QR scanner. Let me 
show you that here. So here's the QR scanner, and you're just going to scan that code. All right. Once you've scanned the code, it's going to come up and say, do you want to open it in a browser? I'm going to say yes, and it's going to download this app. All right. And that's, it's going to ask, do you want to download the APK? It could hurt your phone. You say yes if you want it. Honestly, I'm, I'm showing you this so that you know how to do it, but uh, I'm probably not going to spend a whole lot of time with it. Once it's downloaded, it's going to take four minutes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, let it download, and then I'm going to be right All back right, with it. So that's it. still taking some time to download, so I'm going to just go ahead and move on and show you some other stuff. This is the FM station. This is super cool. Um, if, you're, if your car doesn't have built-in Bluetooth, you can actually transmit to your stereo. So all you do is hit open. Now it's transmitting on this frequency, and you can adjust the frequency this way. That's how you adjust it. I think you can use the slider, too. Yeah, you can adjust the slider as well. Um, and then if you don't want it, you can choose close. The other thing that you're going to want to do is hit Bluetooth here, because um, you're going to set up your phone to work with Bluetooth. So I'm going to hit on, and then you're going to hit pairing, so please use your phone, pairing request, oops. And so now you're going to go log into your phone, into the Bluetooth mode. So you're going to hit settings up there at the top. You're going to go into Bluetooth, and you're going to scroll down here, and you're going to look for the available devices. My phone was having issues scanning Bluetooth here earlier, so I might have to reset it to get it to work. Um, and that's my that's just my phone. Oh, okay. All right. So it is it is there. It's set up as mirror. And um, the way that you change that so that you know is you can click on my name and you can change it, rename the Bluetooth to whatever you want. So just for ease of finding it, I chose mirror. I'm gonna click on that. And you're gonna pair. All right. So now it's now it's paired. So it's going to ask, do you want it to access your contacts and phone log? I say yes. You don't have to. Now it has all of my, you can see it has all of my, my whole uh, phone book on there. All right, so now we're going to go back to settings here. And you can see that it's connected to your phone up top there. So I'm going to get out of this. Oops. I'm going to hit go back to the settings other uh, maybe it's not all right I have to find it I'm, I'll find it here in a second because the other one has uh, downloaded so anyway that's th that's all connected to the phone now um, I'll show you how to pair your internet connection after remember how to do it um, but now I want to show you this driver assist let me log in here so now that you've downloaded the, the car control you can click it here and now it will install so that's going to install, and I'll be right back with you. All right, so now it says app installed. I'm going to go ahead and open it. Um, I have one complaint about this mirror, and the, that complaint is that it asks you to log in with your, um, with your Facebook, and that's really the only option to log in, and I don't like that. You can do Facebook or WeChat, I think. Um, I'd rather have it be a, a, just through my email. So anyway, um, this is the this is the setting there. I'm going to cancel that. Um, so what I want to do is I need to reconnect with the Bluetooth because I disconnected while we were waiting. Um, I purposely did that because I was trying to show you how to do the um, internet sharing. So let's connect in here. I'm just I, all I'm doing is choosing Bluetooth pairing. Yeah, I'm just going to pair it again. And that was my fault because I, perp I, I went to setting and then you did pairing reset and that's, so that's what I did. All right, so now it's, now it's connected So and there's my information. So let's go ahead and go back here to the car assist. Um, it logged in already. It, it automatically logged in because I already had it logged in. Um, I'm going to go to DVR. Oops. Too many buttons here. 
DVR, DVR settings. So in this DVR settings, you can actually change. Oh, I have to be connected to the, the Wi-Fi network. Um, so make sure that your your mirror and your phone are connected to the Wi-Fi network. So I'm going to go ahead and connect these. So you say agree there, and then you say agree here. And now it's connected. So as long as they're both in the same Wi-Fi network, you can actually access your, your cameras just by clicking on it. Oops. So let me show you that. There it is. So that is pretty darn cool. Oops, sorry, that wasn't even showing you. There it is. All right. Too many things for me to keep track of. So, so what you can do, if your car is in your garage, I'm sorry, my internet's terrible. Sometimes it works better. Most of the time it works better. But if your car is in your garage, you can actually check on your car from your phone, and that's pretty darn cool. The other thing that you'll, you will see um, is that, and I turned it off previously, so I don't know if it'll do it. If this is turned off, when it turns back on, it will send a notification to you saying that your car has started. I turned that that setting off. And the way that you do that is you're going to go to your settings up here. You're going to scroll down to um, notifications, sound and notification right there. You're going to scroll all the way down to application notifications. Sorry, this is a little slow just because I'm remembering how to do this. It's been a while since I've done it. It's going to load up all my applications and then you're going to scroll down to the car assist. Still loading. That's my fault. I have a lot of applications. All right. So anyway, scroll down to the, the car assist and you can turn off the notifications. So <laughs> I don't want to, I don't want to waste any more of your time with that. So you can, you can save your, um, pictures or video to your phone from here, which I think is awesome too. Um, you can change your, uh, this is how you view the settings once, or sorry, the recorded files. Once you've done it, you go to DVR files, um, and then you can do DVR settings here and you can adjust all of your settings. So enter sleep, this is the enable lock. So this is all of the DVR settings. You can also adjust your DVR settings um, through your settings menu here, and then you can go to DVR. Other, yeah, so this is like your auto sleep, the collision, the lock, the sensitivity, all of that. So it's all the same. Um, you can, you have a few more options in here. Plus you stop getting the notification. Right, so with your phone connected by Bluetooth to that, to that uh, mirror, you're going to make sure that your Wi-Fi is turned off, just like you would if you were driving around not using Wi-Fi. Then you're going to go into your settings. You're going to choose uh, more networks down here at the bottom, and you're going to choose tethering, and then you're going to make sure that this is turned on. It will be turned off. So you're going to do Bluetooth tethering, make sure that it's turned on. All right, so now you're going to go to your phone, or to your mirror, sorry. You're going to hit settings. You're going to hit other. You're going to go to more, and then you're going to choose Bluetooth. And this is the phone, choose the phone that you're connected to here. You're going to click the little gear in the corner, and you're going to hit internet access you're going to push OK. And that's what you need to do. Um, you can verify by going back here, Bluetooth, mirror the settings here, and then it says the internet connection sharing. If you don't get it work, make, working, make sure that that's on. So um, it, this is the second setting. So it needs to be set up in both of those. Uh, once it's set up, it should keep maintain that setting. So now we can go to the GPS navigation. We can hit. I'm going to do this. I'm going to I'm going to actually search. Uh, let's search. What what should we search for? Let's search for movies. M O V I. Oh, push the button. M O V I E S. Movie theater. I'm going to choose a movie theater. Let me scroll up because I really don't want you to. All right, so now, now it pulls all the movie theaters in your area just like Google Maps works. You can see that it's working just fine. I'm going to just choose one at random, and I'm going to go ahead and hit Get Directions. 
Now it has directions and you can hit start and there you go. So you can see it's really easy. You just have to make sure that your phone is connected to your, to your mirror and that it allows for internet tethering. Um, that's pretty much it. This thing has, oh, it's not it. I have to show you some, something awesome. So I briefly glanced over it. Look, this is, uh, this is your app drawer. I downloaded Kodi directly from the Play Store and it is super cool. Make sure you click it hard enough. This isn't an extremely sensitive screen, so slight touches aren't gonna do anything. But look at that, how cool is that? So you can watch movies or whatever on your, right on your mirror. I'm gonna go ahead and exit out. The other thing that I would say, um, I'm gonna turn this off, just because I wanna be able to show you, that's a lot of fingerprints. So what you're gonna end up needing to do is uh, keep a, just a, like a lens cloth or something in your car to clean it up if you use right, it a lot. All right, so there it is. Um, it's all strapped in really nice and snug in place. You can adjust the whole mirror by that. Um, so now we're on to the power, which is gonna run right in here. Um, sorry about that. So I actually have, this is the, this isn't the um, cigarette lighter adapter that comes with it. That, that, focus there, this is a hard wire. Um, kit that I got so basically you just plug it in there so this is hardwired into a fuse um, which uh, I'll, I'll tell you what I searched for in, in the description but I'm pretty sure it was just a mini mini USB DVR hardwire kit and I think they're 10 bucks on Amazon or like three dollars from China if you want to wait um, for shipping so anyway that's how you do it um, so now all I'm gonna do is pull this panel off here so each each car will be a little different but most of the time it's just a pull out be careful because you're gonna have your um, airbag back there um, so now I'm gonna run the GPS up through here you can slide your fingers just underneath here and so I'll run the GPS down here I'll also run the cable straight back through the headliner um, so I'm gonna get to work and I'll be back and give you uh, updates so along I just the tucked way. it behind here at most mostly just to pin it in place. Run it along here. The important thing to remember is if you do have these airbags, try not to run your wires in front of the airbags because um, you don't want to have a, an issue with it deploying. Um, so, or not deploying, sorry the sun is real bright there. So I just tucked it all the way along back here. Um, you can see the wire here, so I'll just tuck it all down in there. And then we'll put that cover back on and your GPS module is right here. Um, I'm probably gonna put some 3M tape on there just to hold it in place. Um, but it should be pretty well pinned. Um, and to be honest, actually, I think I'm gonna turn it sideways so that it's even less noticeable. Right, so I ran this wire, you can see it right there. Just pushed it through there, fished it through this way. Uh, this is the sunroof. If you don't have a sunroof, I'd recommend going this way and around the headliner that, that way. Um, but headliners, I'll show you on this backside so it's a little easier to see. Headliners are all attached basically with Velcro. So if you pull down, that's the attachment points. So that's how you're gonna get it. Um, from this point on, I'm gonna actually run it along this way. Um, so I'm gonna move the whole camera wire this way and then down. I'm gonna pull that back panel off exactly like I did the front and run it through the trunk. Quick tips. First is uh, disconnect the actual camera. This thing just pulls apart. Let me show you there. So it just pulls apart. That way you're not dragging the camera through. Um, the other thing that I did is I was having an issue getting through this headliner. So I ran that I, a coat hanger from that side all the way up here, wrapped it around, and then now I just have to pull that coat liner or coat hanger through uh, and it'll pull it through the headliner. Then I'm gonna tuck it, move the whole thing down, tuck it underneath here. There was, I found a airbag back here too on this side. So I'm gonna run it along the back ran side. It down and through here, I pulled this down. Basically all you do if you have these you have these little these little clips here is you just pry them they go in like that you just very carefully pry them out i have this tool that slides underneath and pulls it out but you can do it with a screwdriver if you're carefully or if you do it carefully um so then i ran it i had to run it all the way through here i just kind of fished it through there because i want it pretty clean uh, i wanted to come up through this wire loom so if i would have been smarter and paid attention i would have just ran it from the headliner back to the driver's side instead of the passenger side and I wouldn't have needed to cross over. Um, but I wanted to show you this too. So these wire looms, basically they are just 
um, plastic and then they're covered in this wrap. So all you do is you feel down here, you can feel um, where it's split. So it's split like this. And you just run a, a knife along, cut this plastic wrap, and then you can feed this wire right inside. And I'll show you that here in a second. Basically find the, the opening like that and you just push this into it just like this. I'm gonna feed it along inside this wire loom all the way up. So I ended up taking the plastic covering off, which was this thing. Um, so what I'm gonna to do to replace it uh, is just wrap some electrical tape around. Um, so we'll just use this like that um, and we'll rewrap. So I'll start from up here just to show you. And you just wrap it nicely all the way down. I'll keep the wires clean and protected. Um, and for me, I just, I didn't want to have any extra wires. So since I already had this wire harness running from the factory, I'm just going to tap in just like this and wrap it all the way down. So that's it. Um, the next thing I'm going to have to do is pull off this um, trunk panel here and I'll show you that in a second. All right, so there's these are more of the clips that I was telling you about. Um, I'm going to just pull this whole panel off just to make it easier, make sure I'm running it where you wa I want it. So you just very carefully pry those out. So again, if you don't have this tool, you can do it with the screwdriver. Just make sure you pull straight back and you're not ripping from side to side. Um, that's the secret because you don't want to damage them. Um, if you do, they're not hard to find any I think Ace Hardware I know carries them. So uh, that's that. So I'm going to pull off the rest of them. We'll get this panel all the way off. All right. So we're going to gain access to the outside through this light. So basically you can see that it's just two screws here that takes out the light bulb itself. Then there's these two. There's this this clip here on the side. There's only one. Um, but that's how you, so you pry down this way and then you pry enough to undo this clip and slide this out. So now I can feed through the trunk out this way and we're going to put it right here in the Around center the wire up through the wire harness um, so that it comes out here this is the this is the lead wire to go to the backup cameras I'll talk to you about that in a second so I just uh, wrapped it up here and then pulled it right out here so that it can go I want to mount the camera there about like that um, and we'll tuck this back in. So I wanna make one mention, and that is that I have no backup lights up here, which means that I have to run the key, this wire uh, back down, this red wire back down the wire. So I, I actually taped this up too soon and ended up having to redo it. So this cable isn't gonna be long enough. So uh, I have some extra wire and a wire nut, so I'm just gonna use this wire nut here. You basically just attach them together, twist them, twist them on, um, and then you don't have to solder. All right, so I have the camera run through here. I haven't put this back yet because I want to make sure everything works before I actually put everything back. I ran the wires down. Um, I taped this this connection where the, the to the backup camera and the wire connect in together, um, just to for good measure. Ran it all the way back down along the same wire loom. Retaped it. I pulled this panel off, same as you do with the other clips. Pulled this this plastic piece back a little bit. Ran everything through here, um, and then back here behind here is where you'll find your backup light so you can look this clear one that's the backup light so just look straight through there I found the wire harness which is this one uh, it comes with this uh, scotch lock but I lost it so I just used a wire nut so basically uh, black is almost always negative um, and then green is for this one was positive so splice the green wire um, together I just cut it and stripped it and then connected in the wire uh, I there really was enough red wire there's plenty of red wire to make it work but I already had it connected in so I didn't care um, but yeah so uh, make sure you kind of lay it out a little bit better than I did and you might it might be a little easier to run the wires but it looks like everything is connected so now we should be good to mount the camera and give it a test run all right, so everything's done and we're ready. I got this put back. I did realize that I broke the uh, clip on this side, um, so it's not in there super great. But this side's in, and also it's attached by the wire, so the uh, the, the actual wire for this light. So it's not going to fall out. If I have an issue, I might glue it in or get one at a junkyard. Um, when you pull it through here, make sure that you're not pinching this too bad, the, the wire for the backup light or camera, um, because you can damage it. If you have to, you might have to drill a little bit of a hole, kind of make that bigger. Um, but for now, I'm just going to leave it how it is because I think it's 
fine. <laughs> um, so now we're ready to actually mount this this camera. Um, I didn't. I'm just cleaning it right now. We're gonna clean up real good with rubbing alcohol um, and make sure that it's there's no dirt. See, obviously that's gonna affect the ability of this to stick. Um, I I didn't share a lot of the pulling the panels apart and putting them back together, that sort of thing, because it's gonna vary from car to car. You can find YouTube videos for anything out there. So if you're having an issue, um, you can YouTube how to pull it off. But mostly, um, I did show you how to take the, uh, the panel clips out, because that's pretty uniform across all brands. Um, so, all right, so that should be good there. Um, so I'm gonna mount it about right like that. So basically, I'm just going to pull off this sticky pad here. I'm going to bring it all the way back because that's where I want it and I'm just going to attach it in. And that's it. So it does have two places to put screw holes. I think I'm, or to put screws, I think I am going to go ahead and, and uh, mount those in there. Um, it actually is, I mean it is, it's in there pretty darn good, but I think just for good measure I'm going to pop, pop a couple screws there and there. Just make sure that you're not going to hit anything on the way back. Um, and I'll have to figure something out with this because it's coming out. I'll probably glue that in place. So anyway, all right, so now we are all back together together, and we are ready to check it out inside. All right, so we're all booted up. Uh, hope you excuse the blowing air, but my air conditioning is running because it's super hot and my phone keeps overheating. Um, so uh, now that I'm in the car, we're gonna try. I'm just gonna shift it into reverse and we'll make sure that everything comes up right. There it goes, see, perfect. So it automatically switched over. Um, that is awesome. That's a great view. Uh, maybe some adjustments just to level it, level it out a little bit, but uh, we'll switch out of it. So now we're back into drive and there it goes. So this thing works awesome. I'm super impressed with this, this mirror. I mean, you can see it's not really obtrusive. It doesn't take up a whole lot more room than my other, than my just my regular mirror. And the amount of technology packed into this thing is just incredible. Runs a full Android system, back uh, rear camera, forward camera, uh, I mean, you get a lot for the price. I think you guys are going to be super happy with this. The whole install took about an hour. Uh, it wasn't too bad. Uh, it'd take a little less if you plan out your route beforehand, so that you don't, uh, so you don't have to run wires across the car multiple times. Uh, if I would have just gone straight through the driver's side, we would have been fine. But anyway, it runs awesome. Um, so I'm going to do some more testing before I actually post this review. Make sure it continues to function how it's supposed to, but. I'm really, really impressed with this. It's probably one of my favorite car gadgets I've ever had. Um, so I think you guys are going to be really thrilled with it. And if you have any questions, drop me a line. And I give this one, for now, five stars. If I have any issues with testing, uh, you'll see an update at the top of my review. Um, but for now, I definitely, definitely recommend this thing. This is awesome. I just wanted to show you this real fast. This is Google Maps running in offline uh, mode. So I just downloaded the local maps to an SD card. Um, and then we, you can actually have it off. You don't have to have it. Turn left. And see if it, I don't know if it focuses. Yeah, so it comes up with the, there it is. It comes up with the instructions just as you need them, um, which is really awesome just as kind of like a, a push notification. Um, and that's really cool. <laughs> Continue straight. So that gives you that gives you an idea of how it works. This is this is offline again, just running with the little GPS there in the corner, not tethered to my phone in any way. So I am really impressed with this mirror. I like it. I think you will too.